Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Of course, this is this is Tamisha, also known as Mrs. Coda. So today I'm going to, again, bring you guys another um, awesome topic that is t often overlooked. So what I'm going to be talking about today is the difference between a practice model and a frame of reference. Now, these two terms can actually be used interchangeably, but it is quite confusing at times to really grasp it when you're trying to learn and understand it. There's quite a few frame of reference, okay? Today I'm going to just talk about one, and I'm going to give you an insight on the difference between a practice model and a frame of reference. So when we mention practice model, okay, we can think of, so I'm going to go to the board again. So practice model, and the way I want you to think about this is the way we organize our thinking. Okay, so okay, so practice model is helps us as clinicians and practitioners organize our thinking. Okay, it helps us to see what procedure do I need to take with this particular client or patient. Frame of reference now is the tool that we use to guide the intervention, okay? So I'm gonna just shorten it by saying F-O-R. Now, again, is the tool. Okay? So that is the difference between the two. One is to help us think what we need to do, and the other is what we'll, is what we use to guide. Now, for example, let's say biomechanic or the biomechanical frame of reference. You'll also hear biomechanical model, right? So when we think of biomechanic, what are we thinking? We're thinking of kin kinesthetics, right? We're thinking about kinesiology. We're thinking about strength, range of, mo range of motion movement, right? All of these fall under the biomechanical. So if you're using a biomechanical frame of reference, the tool that you're using is range of motion. The thought process, which is your practice model, when you're using the biomechanical model, now you're thinking about um, functional movement, okay? So say for instance, um, the patient had a stroke, okay? Let's say the patient had a CVA, and part of your treatment is implementing a biomecha biomechanical model, biomechanical frame of reference. So what that means is when you're thinking about the practice model is, okay, this person had a CVA. Let's say their right extremity, okay, is getting rigid. If you're not sure, familiar with what specificity and rigidity means, definitely be sure to check out my video. So let's say, not, not rigid, I'm sorry, spastic, spasticity. You're noticing some, spastic, some spasticity occurring in the extremity, all right? So that is now you're thinking about, okay, this is my practice model. I need to do something to decrease the level of tightness of spasticity they're experiencing. So when you go into frame of reference, now you're thinking about what tool can I use to do this? So this is still falling on the biomechanical. So the tool that you would use is most likely PROM, which is passive range of motion. Okay, you can even use something called SROM, which is teaching the patient how to do self range of motion. You can also use um, a form of e-stimulation, right, for muscle twitch, for muscle contraction, right? You can use a form of, let's say, ultrasound, all right? You can use um, a form of, let's say, a massage, right? So all these are going to fall under by biomechanical. So I hope that this makes sense. Um, like I said, 
the frame of reference is the tool that you're using to guide. But when you think of a tool, you got to think of the elements that fall underneath that tool. Okay. Um, also with biomechanical, this is your balance, right? This is every time you, you give a person a dowel, every time you give a person a hand weight, every time you give a person therapy, same thing that can apply for hand. Let's say you decide that you want to work on the hand strength. This is going to fall on the biomechanical. Now you're using the tool you're using is therapy. Maybe a burn happened and now they lost some, some range because of scar tissue buildup. Okay, so this is how you're thinking. Your all the tool is going to be your frame of reference. So this is looking at it from a different angle, but this is the best way to understand how these two interchangeably work <laughs> at times, but also the, the difference between the two. So don't forget, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.